Hey, this is going to be kind of a short one. Um, this was showing you how to solve two problems you can have with a small engine, but uh, this could also occur with, you know, an automotive engine, especially old school with solid lifters, but to an extent with hydraulic lifters as well. Um, it normally doesn't happen with cars unless you put a new cam or something in, but uh, the problem you're going to only have with a lawnmower is too little lift, and that's because there's a compression, decompression hump on the camshaft. That way, while you're trying to start it, it releases some of the compression so the starter motor can turn it over. And then once it starts spinning, the cam hump swings out of the way. So it no longer lifts your valves. And it only lifts with exhaust and intake. Um, if your rocker arms get a little loose, that little bitty hump won't crack your valve. And when you go to turn it over, it'll just go, I mean... It'll act like it's got a dead battery. Um, I bought this mower yesterday, well, two days ago, and uh, it was doing that. And uh, that's really all it was. What I'm doing now is going back in. I went a little too far. And if you have some overlap, you'll get, uh, it'll get harder to start like it doesn't have compression, and it'll backfire a little bit. But uh, anyway, I, I'm going to go with a, kind of in between where it was and uh finally got the specs on it offline and uh we're gonna use the filler gauge and just put just a hair more space in there and that should fix it i don't think my exhaust valve is closing completely i think that might be having something to do with it um intake looks fine it's closing fine i might have overdone it with the exhaust but I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, on your overhead valve engines, no matter if it's a single cylinder or V-twin, you're going to have a little valve cover that says OHV. If it's a V-twin, it'll have two. And it'll look like a little sideways V6 or V8 or whatever. And it, it's the same thing. If you look at it like a car, you know, you got your, your V8 and up there on top, you've got valve covers. And we're talking about overhead valve now, not a twin cam or dual or a single overhead cam. We're talking about old school, okay? But uh, I'm going to show you how to do it on these. This is the same exact design as a car. Same exact design. Now, you'll have a center bolt right here. And it's usually going to be some kind of a star head. But on an auto automotive application, it may or may not be. It may be, you know, another nut. And you'll have an outer nut around it that adjusts the tightness of it. Okay? And let's see. Anyway, that's how you do it. That's all there is to it. Now, your filler gauge. If you don't know what this is, you probably shouldn't be in the engine. But uh, this is something nearly anybody can do on a lawnmower. Uh, it's just like different thicknesses of paper is all it is. You can do different, uh, different thicknesses of space underneath. And you just stick it in there stick one of these sheets in there and it gives you a little bit of space doesn't look like much but believe me it makes a difference if it's too tight or too loose and uh now on a car or really on anything there's a lot of slack even if it doesn't have that decompression feature it'll make a lot of noise in your valve train if your valves are loose and, you know people talk about oh my valves are rattling well, the reason that thicker oil quietens it down in newer cars is because they have hydraulic lifters. And if the uh, rockers are worn and the valves are worn and all that, it creates a little slack. Thicker oil 
this higher oil pressure, it spreads out your lifters a little bit more to make up for that slack a little sooner. But you're hurting your gas mileage and your oil pressure is going way up and your oil pump's trying to pump that thick oil through filter. So the best thing to do really is get your valves adjusted for the slack from the wear and run the same oil that the engine was designed for. People don't do that, they just throw thicker oil in it and they think that solves the problem. Now, if you have an older school engine and you go to put thicker oil in it to solve the noise and the chattering up under the valve train, it won't do anything. It may muffle the sound, but it won't do anything because you've probably got solid lifters. You're still not going to help take up any of the slack between the rocker arm and the push rods. See what I'm saying? That's not going to spread out just because it's got thicker oil. There's, it's not happening. You're going to have to get in there and adjust them. Um, but anyway, that's the gist of it. You know, inside your car, got these little boogers. You may have a whole bunch of them. My truck's a four-cylinder. It's got 16 of them. But uh, on this one, it's got one intake and one exhaust. So I'm going to get at it. Uh, let me get to work on this so that I can go get out of here, go see the girl. But uh, figured I'd throw this at you. Um, I'll get into more detail about some things you can do with a car to kind of modify it, take up some of the valve space with hydraulic lifters in a newer car, get a little more valve lift out of it from the get-go. They're designed to fully open the valves only at high RPM when there's higher oil pressure, okay? saves gas when you're not at high RPMs. If you're not worried about gas mileage at all, there's a trick where you can adjust your rockers to take up that spring action or some of it in your hydraulic lifters to make it a positive connection so that as soon as that lifter comes up or push rod comes up on that lifter, it pushes on your rocker and it pushes the valves open. Full lift gives you a little bit more torque, bottom end, Lopey sound, pretty neat. But uh, anyway, we'll get back at you sometime soon. Let me get to work on this.